to be elected president without one vote. Mm -hmm. it's, it, it, it's, it is not important, his vote. He's not, he's not running an election for himself. He's running an election to stir the base up. Well, the Republicans will do this. Like, the Republicans are going to raise your taxes by $2,000 if, 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 you know, if Romney is elected, which can't be done because if they keep the Bush tax cuts, you, you know, they want the tax cuts. But they, Republicans don't necessarily, don't, they don't come in and raise income taxes on people. They'll raise your taxes elsewhere, but they're not known for raising income taxes. Democrats are. But it's all, a, it's all a base election. It's not get out the base for the president, it's get out the base for the, the Senate. The Senate is the key to this election. Do we have to worry about the House this time? No. Democrats are going to lose the House. They'll lose the House big time because they're, um, they, they, they know that they basically pushed uh, their, 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 their House representatives are supporting gay marriage, they're supporting religion, forcing churches to pay for abortions. They're basically telling you that if you have a religious viewpoint, you are not allowed to speak anymore. You're a racist, you're a homophobe, and you're a Klan member if you speak out against gay marriage. Mm -hmm. And gay marriage yeah, is a ask, killer for the House. Just ask a fast food restaurant. Huh. But it is a total killer for the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives tends to be more conservative than does the Senate. Really? The Senate is there for se six years. Oh, six years, whereas the House of Representatives... Is with, there? They're, they they're start, two years. It's like they start campaigning for their next election. And they can't voted. afford to piss off too many people. Look, the, yeah. the Democrats lost. It was the largest loss of seats in one election, and this, this time they're going to lose lose, they figured they may lose as many as one-third more of the House seats, mm -hmm. which gives the Republicans a veto-proof majority in the, Senate, in the House. Republicans are trying to get a veto-proof majority in the Senate, which isn't going to happen because they're going to hold enough seats. That it's, it's, it's going to be, uh, here's where it was. I, I heard one guy said, I want it to be a 50-50 so that Joe Biden can cast a vote to, dis to, do, uh, to throw out the Constitution of the United States. Oh, really? The Republicans want to see that happen. You don't think the Republicans can stop this any minute they want to stop it. Wait a minute. If they want to see Joe Biden do that. Because they want an issue. They I want know. four years. They want, they want, <clears throat> they, if they, and, and, they want to have an issue so that they can sit there and pound on it for two years. Which is why some of these things that happen, you're going, like, okay, well, we're, we're going to throw this in, for example, like the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah. Okay. Now, of course, if you're in Colorado, if you lost somebody, that is a really big deal. But some of these things get blown out of proportion, and it's because it's an election year, and it is an issue. Right, it's gun control. It but takes it, the issue off of the economy. Yeah, and they don't. The Democrats don't want to talk about the economy. But the problem is, is that it, it, you know, the, the I mean, the, the uh, people that help get Clinton elected keep telling people it's the economy, stupid. There's nobody working. I know, and they're trying to get people to rally around other issues to get it off the economy. And it, it, it's, it always comes back to the economy. I mean, people don't people mainly vote with their pocketbooks. Anyway? They vote with their pocketbooks. Okay, one, if you aren't working, you're not likely to. If you're a Democrat, and you're not working. You're not likely to come to the polls. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you're a union member that has lost your job because of what the president has done, you're not likely to come to the polls. If you're a coal worker and you've seen your, your life destroyed by the Democratic Party, you're not likely to come to the polls. <clears throat> if, you are, uh, if you're an Afro-American or a Latino, a Latin American in our living in our country, legal or illegal, and the president has basically told you you have to support gay marriage and you have no religious rights in our nation. You're not likely. To, look at the long list of the people that are not likely to come to the polls. The Democratic Party has basically infuriated everyone but their true left base. They have to hold the le the wicked. You have to hold the base and pick up. Um, you have to hold the base and pick up about. 10% more of the vote to win re-election. But you have to hold, and they don't count them, they don't, uh, they, they, they'll throw away 90% of the Latino vote, 90% of the Afro-American vote, 90% of the Jewish vote, and they'll hold their totally left-wing base and they can win because the Republicans um, splinter when it comes to uh, elections. 
He said, if you don't like, if you don't think the candidate is a Tea Party candidate, the Tea Party candidate will, people will go, they won't vote in the, they won't vote for the candidate, they'll vote for the local issues. But you know, where has the Tea Party been lately? They're still there. They just want another. They just they just took the this. They basically they think that they're going to be able to hold Texas now. Kay Billy Hutchins was getting ready, stepping down. They thought they were going to lose the Senate seat to the Democrats, so they put themselves in a. The Tea Party won a runoff, but the Tea Party won a runoff with a big enough vote for the Senate Republican that it dwarfed the vote for the Democrat. You know, if it had been an election, then they'd have won to rewind the Senate seat. So they already know that more Republicans are going to come out to support a fiscal conservative. They're going to come out and support a person that supports Obamacare, punishing, oh, he's going to punish the oil industry in Texas. Mm-hmm. And wants to, and wants the Texas to go green because that will bring that will bring millions of jobs to this country if Texas goes green. No, it won't. Green, but um, but Obama's pissed off. You know, he's got the environmental people are unhappy because he's basically pushing his rail system through areas that are protected areas. He's uh, he's basically doing everything. He, he, they, like I said. If you go, he couldn't win. They figure, I, I heard a person say they're actually expecting a 50-state route. Should, Illinois is basically, they you know, basically, I listened last night. The state of Illinois, the people of Illinois are unhappy. You know, the, you know the, he's doing nothing to help the state of Illinois. Is dying, and he's from Illinois. Mm. Is he doing anything to help the state of Hawaii? No. He doesn't. In a state where he's supposedly born, and, and but... Um, well, actually, you could just ask his... All these Democrats that thought they were going to get helped. <laughs> they're not being, a lot of them don't want to be helped by him, but they need government help in their state and they're not getting it. Things that he can do by executive order, he's not. Like he can, uh, by executive order in the state of Illinois, he can have, you know, uh, have the United States Marshals and the FBI come in and see what they can do to help clean up Chicago. Mm-hmm. In, 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 um, in Hawaii. Got the military there, folks. All he has to do is stop attacking the military and again do more spending in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. I mean, if they ship one, sh- if they take one ship, transcend it from the from uh, from say a southern port that's Republican to Hawaii, that brings in lots of money. So, oh really? Yeah, but they're gonna hear. Actually, you'll hear more from us. But you're this is the, the, <laughs> the press wants to bury it. The Democrats don't want you to know, and Republicans really want the issue. So this, re- this reminds me of Men in Black, where they say right before it's like they don't they don't need to know. They don't need to know, right? And, or it's just Jack Nicholson and you know, a few good men. You can't handle. You it. can't handle it. The Republican cannot. The, Dem- the American public cannot handle the fact that you could have a president for life. That is something that. I think most of us can't even fathom. But it's just, it is for the first time in our history, it is possible because our president has shown no inclination to pay attention to anything the Constitution says. Mm. And it is not even written in the Constitution he has to step down. Since it is not written in the Constitution that he has to step down, okay, let's put it this way. If uh, say uh, Mitt Romney thought that he could help. That Mitt Romney was a second-term president. He thought that, well, I'm. Uh, it's only I'm the only one standing in the way of the evil Democrats. You think Romney would step down? No. You you think that uh, okay? Um, a lot of presidents step down because they get old. But if you have a young guy like Barack Obama. He has no reason to step down because he, you know, certainly he's gotten old in office, but he's 51 years old, folks. He can basically hold this office and get older. And well, he was one of the younger years. presidents that was elected. Yeah, well, actually, he was, you know, it, it, was, it was, I think it was, uh, that Kennedy? It was Kennedy, then Nixon, and now no, Obama. Nixon was that young when he was elected? Yeah, you know, Nixon was, uh, we're talking like uh, 45, 46 years ago. I think Nixon was only in his 40s. Because Nixon was a professional politician before, and he yeah, but he was like he was Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was the same age as him. Jack Kennedy was actually a few months younger. Oh, really? If Nixon had been elected, he would have been the youngest president ever elected. Instead, the younger Kennedy, who was a World War, remember, remember what people? This was fifty years ago. These guys would be like ninety some years old now. Well, and actually, when was it for president? You only have to be thirty-five years yeah. old to be. Yeah, and president. they were they were the youngest ever, but. Um, 
So I guess until next time, this is Old Camel. And this is not a spring check. Yeah. For more information, you can go to uh, www.mondybubble.net on the net or the, our new news site, www.nbnnewsvideoweb.com. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us. Thank you once again. <laughs> Thank you once again for over 250 million links on the internet and follow us on Facebook. Actually, like, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. <laughs>